Hi, this is Viv Solomon. I wanted to do football was, was was like my dream and like my friends and all the elder people around me at the time wouldn't even let me go anywhere near that so and my parents were very strict so I wouldn't I didn't really affiliate with stuff like that I was just focused on football and happy playing outside and just having fun really like that, that was me I didn't really mix in with gangs and stuff like that when the dream started and never looked back and um, my parents always supported me, always used to train me to football and training and stuff like this and I'd go myself after school, catch the bus or catch the train as well but then my parents would be, always be there to pick me up and Ronaldo and Thierry and me because I just like the way they play, they dribble, like having fun on the pitch especially Ronaldinho He's always entertaining the fans of Barcelona and PSG. I just love the way he played. Also, Thierry Henry scoring goals and Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo with his flair and trickery. Obviously, when he was young at that time, first when he first came to Manchester United, so it was exciting. And obviously, when I used to play around that area on the street, it was we used to play like World Cups. So it was everyone for themselves. So you would have to have trickery to get past people to score. So. That's why I love looking at them players so I could add it to my game. I signed for Birmingham when I was in year 11 in school and that's when it, that's when the journey began, like properly started. And yeah, I signed to your scholarship and then at the end of that I ended up getting a professional contract and I just learned how to become a man and I imp improved as a player. And then um, my first season as a professional as a pro, I play one season in the under 21s, playing that every game, and then the next season, I think that was when I went to Nigeria for the under 23s. I think I was 19 years old, and then I felt everything just started to click in, just like starting to fall into place. I finally got called up to Nigeria um, under 23s. Then when I come back, I had a good pre-season. Then I got a squad number, number 17, and then I got into the first team, and then never looked back, and then. That's, that's how my professional career started and yes, um, I went on loan to Bolton first and it, it was a learning loan, like there was obviously stuff, things that went on behind the scenes which affected my playing time, but it made me learn a lot and it made me become strong as a man and then I went on loan to Blackpool, had a terrific season, played every game, played 47 games that season, scored goals, just had fun. I was just able, and able to enjoy my football and just play stress free. And obviously, coming back to Birmingham after that season, I thought it would be a good one. And obviously, the first game of the season I scored, which started off positive, but due to lack of opportunities and obviously things that went on behind the scenes, that got cut short. And then I went on loan to Portsmouth, which was a good loan that it, like going on loan to Portsmouth, I enjoyed my football again. Like, I started to enjoy football again. And I was happy, and I was just happy to be back on the pitch. And obviously, we just missed out on the playoffs. So yeah, literally, that was my time. Fast, with skill, trickery. Um, um, yeah, that like fast trickery, speed, speed, flair. I do, but most of the time it's instincts. You never know, like in in, in football, there's always a different situation. Do you know? What I mean? do, you, do you know what I mean? So you would have to like like adapt to that. Just think at that situation at that time and go off your instincts. And yeah, so like literally, it depends. It all depends. It just depends in that moment. It's fifty-fifty because you can come through Nigeria. Right, so let's say the youth system, the, you go to the, let's say 
a young player in Nigeria goes to the under 17 World Cup, does very well. Like, for instance, Ajax at Solstice, does very well under 17 and gets to move to, is it, was, was it Granada or something like this? Yeah, does very well. So it depends, it's 50 50 the same time, the same way me coming, coming through an academy and then getting that breakthrough. So it's not, it's not guaranteed that like, it's everyone. So I'd say all over the world it's the same, but in England there's more opportunities because there's clubs, obviously all around England, professional clubs, and they're monitored every day. Like in England, the football's like probably the biggest in the world. So I'd say yes in that sense. Well, it's, a different, it's, a, it's a different experience. Obviously, playing in another uh, country, obviously in a different language, adapting to different styles of play, something I'm not really used to, so you just have to adapt. And um, obviously, I came, I came late because I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, whether to stay at Birmingham or to come here or to go elsewhere or to go elsewhere. So I wasn't sure, so obviously I wasn't fit. And obviously now I'm back to my full fitness. So as time goes on, I'm starting to pick up and play more and more and more minutes. And from there, I'll be able to excel. And maybe because of I came late and... Um, my fitness levels was probably wasn't maybe to where I I should be because of obviously me coming back late. But like now I feel sharp. Like for instance, when I played 45 minutes and I done well and I got an assist, I still wasn't feeling at my best. I still wasn't feeling sharp, but I was happy within myself to make an impact on the game. But now I feel very very better. So as time goes on, now you'll be able to see more of me. My short term goal is just to to, um, to 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 be playing week in week out and enjoying my football and being happy. That I feel that that's the most important thing. And making headlines, making impacts in games, and leaving your mark. That's the most important thing for me. For Nigeria, be one. Obviously, that's something that's on the cards, and I feel will happen soon. I feel that that's important, and just playing at the top highest level. Going to World Cups and African Cup of Nations and things like that. That's that's where that's where it's at for me. So, yeah. Obviously, every team has their different systems and different style of players. Um, it's quite similar. It's different. Obviously, different teams play a certain way. So the team in England can play a certain way, and the team over here can play a certain way. They can play the same football. We um, it's the same. It's, it's, it's a very tough league, it's a very tough, it's tough but at the same time, and the fans are amazing, the fans are behind you 24-7, they support you, it's, it's ridiculous, like they love you, they love their team so much. Um, probably the season where I played every game and just enjoyed it, <laughs> that was the best. When you play, you have you have no worries. You're playing, and you're on the pitch. You're everything, everything is blocked out of your mind, other than the fact that you need to win this game and you need to to leave your mark. So that, I feel like that's the best feeling. Of all time, um, Ronaldo, the Brazilian. Uh, it has to be JJ Culture. Because of his flair and his trickery. He's a very good player. Yeah. Even Carney, Carney as well. Carney has to be. Carney is the I said Carney as well. Carney was phenomenal. There's a lot of players. Carney, JJ, um, uh, who was the uh, striker, Amok uh, Amokachi, Peter. There was, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of good players. I would say Carney and JJ. There's a lot of good players. A lot of good players. Manchester United. And just, I just like, I just always liked them from when I was a kid. Since I was always been a United fan. You just uh, 
fucking toast. Toast and the orange or something like that. So I don't know, toast and a piece of fruit. And I'm, I'm, that's me, I'm fine, I'm balanced. That's me. Obviously, I'd have like pasta during the day for lunch, but just before, I wouldn't like to eat. Not really. No, no, no. no. Just relax, just listen to music and just chill, talk to my teammates and majority of African music, Afro beats. I do this. Lagos. Bella France. Uh, <laughs> Cashews. <laughs> Shoes. A formal suit. Champions League, sorry. Man. Uh, all I would say is just when you're young, enjoy it and be happy. And um, if if you get rejection, don't. That's not the end of the world. I've been rejected before. That doesn't mean I still got to where I am now. So. I've been rejecting, I can get here, then so can you. Anyone can get to anywhere they want in life as long as they just work hard and put their mind to it, they'll be fine. So yeah. And also listen to your listen to your elders and also listen to your teachers at school. Don't let anything distract you. Just don't get distracted or let anything distract you. That's that's what one thing I'd say. Distraction. That's Hi, this is Viv Solomon everybody tune into Eagles Tracker.